Beams are the horizontal members of a structure which are provided to resist the vertical loads acting on the structure. In this lecture, I am going to discuss some important concepts related to the design of RCC beams which are going to be very much beneficial to all of you. As per IS13920, for beams of rectangular cross section, it shall always be preferred to have a width to depth ratio greater than 0.3. That is, if BW is the width of beam and D be its depth, BW upon D shall be greater than 0.3. While deciding the size of an RCC beam, the minimum width shall be considered as 200 mm. That is, BW shall be greater than or equal to 200 mm. The depth of a beam shall not be more than one fourth of its clear span. That is, if D is the depth of a beam and L its clear span, then D shall be less than or equal to L by 4. However, for calculating the depth of a beam using thumb rule, we use the formula depth of beam equal to L upon 10 to L upon 12, where L is the clear span of the beam. By the term clear span, we mean the column inner to inner distance. The minimum overlapping length of bars in a beam shall always be provided at least equal to 75 cm or simply 750 mm. The purpose of overlapping is to transfer the loads from one bar to the next. As per IS13920, the minimum diameter of shear reinforcement, that is stirrups, shall always be provided as 8 mm. When the depth of a beam exceeds 750 mm, then we shall provide side face reinforcement along the two faces of the beam. The total area of this side face reinforcement shall not be less than 0.1% of the web area. It shall be noted that the side face reinforcement shall be distributed equally on two faces and the spacing of sidebars shall not exceed 300 mm or the thickness of web, whichever is less. So this was all about this lecture. If you want to master the structural design with practical real life project exposure, then you can check out the complete building design combo course on eTabs and SAFE, wherein you will get to work on six separate models in eTabs and the complete foundation design in SAFE. Again, if you want to gain complete knowledge on building construction from start to finish and if you want to develop the proper skill set required for a site engineer that too without going to the site, then you can enroll in our complete site engineer course which is available in both Hindi and English. The link of the courses will be provided in the description box of this video. Thank you.